Fire. Hey, what's up, guys? Flowtown Hockey here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to conjure a werebear. Now, it's very sad news that we can't be a werebear ourselves, but instead, you can conjure one up for 60 seconds once per day. So, in order to do this, you have to get the quest called Cleansing the Stones. This is among the first main storyline quests that you get in this DLC. You'll also have to have the Benwell Shout, which you get from a previous quest before this one in the storyline. So, once you have the Benwell Shout, and you cleanse all four stones that it tells you to cleanse, you can go to the Beast Stone, which is located right here on your map, and from here you'll be able to activate the stone to gain the effect Conjure Werebear. To activate this effect, all you have to do is go up to the stone and touch it. Once you do that, you have to go to the power section of your menu, and in there you'll find the new spell Conjure Werebear. And since it's in our power menu, that means we can only use it and activate it once per day. So, if you happen to use it once, that means you have to go back to the Beast Stone after 24 hours has passed, activate it, and then you'll regain its ability and effect. So, here's some gameplay footage of me using this new power, and I gotta say, it's pretty awesome. Being able to conjure up your own werebear is really cool. It's a shame that we can't actually become a werebear. At least, no one's figured it out just yet. Hopefully, they'll have an update to fix this, but in the meantime, this will just have to do. But as for the gameplay of the werebear, it's not as strong as a werewolf, but he's definitely smarter than one. And that is proven by this image right here. And as you can tell, he always goes for the strongest member of their team first. Boom, right there. Baby Netch down. And then he fakes the enemy out. He runs away, and he's like, oh, y'all are too good, y'all are too strong for me. But then that is a fake out right there. He comes back, back to the battle. And he's like, oh, werebear, smash, brah. And that's where the werebear just put the team on his back. He was like, you know what? I do this for Skyrim. And he's like, boom, boom. And then he dies. It's unfortunate, but it happens. It's not as strong as a werewolf, but again, it's hilarious. It's fun to use, and it's a good sacrifice if you need to use that in a fight. So if you're getting overwhelmed, summon the werebear, run away, let it get beat up. It deserves it, but it's awesome to use. It's really fun. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.